Hey everybody, Paul Humiller, Dream Guitars, and this is a special one. This is number 200 from maker Bill Wise of Karis Acoustics. Um, Bill is someone we worked with for years, and he sort of comes out of the Olsen school as far as the shape and style of his guitars, very much like an Olsen SJ. He's from Michigan and, um, and has personal ties to Jim Olsen, of course. Um, so let's give this one a look. It's number 200, so that's you know, a milestone guitar where builders usually pull out um, all their fancy stuff and try to do something to celebrate their career, of course. 200 is quite a few guitars for a maker. Uh, most makers in their whole life may make 200 or, you know, very few probably make three or 400. So Bill's on his way, of course. This one was built in 2008 and it's number 200. So that was, of course, 12 years ago. Um, and first of all, it's got a beautiful redwood top. Um, the redwood, aside from adding, of course, the beauty, it has a really lush, deep sound on this guitar. I really like it. It's a good finger style guitar as far as having notes that are fat and round and just dark. It's really, really in a sweet way. You know, it's dark and beautiful. Um, lots of little touches. The theme on this, this guitar is called Overo, which is uh, a horse term for paint horses where they have um, white sections of color over a dark um, color. So you see painted horses where they look like they're, they're white spotted. Um, that's what Overo means. And you'll see in a moment uh, exactly what I'm talking about. So anyway, there's horse themes throughout. The rosette here actually has horseshoes in it, if you look closely. Um, the, the, the bridge is Brazilian rosewood, really nice and tight grain, which of course transfers the energy really nicely. There's a koa bevel here. And then of course, koa bindings over the whole guitar. You've got a horse inlay on the headstock. And then you flip it over, you've got the Olsen style multi-piece neck, a McCore um, head plate on the back. And then these necks are really good and stable, and this one's actually adjustable. There's a user adjustable port here where you can adjust the height of the, the neck up and down for the action. And then boom, you've got the money shot here. This is the inlay that his daughter Rachel came up with for this Overo guitar in his number 200. Um, so very beautiful woodwork here. This is what we would call marquetry, so as opposed to inlaying with shell and things, it's all done in wood. Very beautiful, and again, the Overo horse with the markings. Um, and then you've got the rib rest bevel here too. So there's bevel front and back, which really makes a difference when you're holding the guitar. But take a good close up look at the pictures. There's quite a bit of detail on this inlay here. Very beautiful. And it's really neat that father and daughter collaborated on it. You've got a sound port here as well. So you get a little bit more on the driver side volume of the guitar. Um, and it really does feel like um, you're hearing a lot as you play this guitar, which I enjoy. It's nice to be sort of enveloped in the sound rather than just having it all go out into the room. So, and, and I, I almost passed over the Brazilian rosewood, but this is really special rosewood. It was actually um, found in a barn in Michigan. Um, and it, Bill was able to get three guitars out of an old beam that was um, pretty tattered and worn, but there, underneath was this gorgeous wood. And if you look closely, you can see it has a lot of that really dark streaking and stuff that we see in some of the pre-war guitars for sure. So a really neat find to have a reclaimed piece of Brazilian rosewood that's so lovely. And there's a pickup system in this guitar as well. So sort of has it all. All right. This is number 200 from Bill Wise of Karis Acoustics. Enjoy. Enjoy. 